is that? Like, what is that? Like, what is that? today's video for the 11th of May. Um, FYI, I'm holding a hot water bottle because um, it's not my most favourite time of the month. You know, I did hear that uh, period pains are like mini contractions, you know, like when you're pregnant. I've never been pregnant, so I don't know, but it's actually really painful, so I feel like there could be truth to that. Anyways, I don't know if it's true. Today I am talking about unpopular opinions. I, I've never done an unpopular opinions video before. I'm going to try and stay away from the ones that I tend to hear. I haven't watched a lot of unpopular opinions videos, but the one I seem to hear about the most, like the most unpopular opinion kind of thing, is the whole uh, pineapple on your pizza. So I'm not even going to talk about that, although FYI, <laughs> I do like pineapple on my pizza. I'm just saying, but that doesn't count, okay? So I have picked 12 unpopular opinions. So let me know if you actually agree or not. Okay, let's go. The first one, I, I swear to you, yes. I, the only people I know who agrees with this opinion is the people in my family just because we were brought up that way up until I think it was yesterday I was watching a uh, YouTube channel so for real and she says she also likes this and I was like wow that is the first time I've ever heard anyone else um, and that's basically having warm milk with your cereal this whole waking up in the morning, you know, to have breakfast, to get stone cold milk out of the fridge, pouring it in your cereal and eating like it's nothing. No, I'm telling you, my stomach would regurgitate. It would be doing backflips. Like, how? How can you drink something so cold so early in the morning? You know, like, when you wake up, you have like a tea or a coffee or something, you don't have something cold, like cold milk in cereal. Oh, the thing is, I don't eat cereal anymore. Um, I have really weird eating habits anyway. Um, if I was going to eat cereal, I would eat it later on in the day, like afternoonish evening time. Um, but even then, it would still have to be warm milk. But yeah, especially in a morning, I just don't know how, I feel like it's most of the world here. I just don't know how people drink cold milk in a morning. Like, and it's just normal. Like, it's just normal. I just don't get it. <laughs> Anyways, the next one. Uh, this is for like, you know, black hair community. I have no issue with shrinkage. I feel like a lot of people don't like shrinkage. Do you know what I mean? But I have no problem with shrinkage at all. And I feel like there's so many like bomb hairstyles you can do when your hair is in the shrinked, <laughs> shrink, when your hair is in the shrink stage. Do you know what I mean? And, and on top of that, shrinkage means your hair is healthy. So I don't understand why it would bother you. I have, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Shrinkage is, is cool to me. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. So yeah, on to the next one. So this is for Christians now. Oh, shoot, sorry. Um, this is for my uh, Christian community. As a Christian, I believe there's nothing wrong with eating pork. And on top of that, I eat pork. So yeah. But if I'm honest, I feel like a lot of people like in my church, especially like the younger generation, you know, I just feel like they don't eat pork not because it has anything to do with the bible but more to do with the fact that their family don't eat it and it was brought up to know that they don't eat pork because 
you know, they'll tell you, oh my gosh, like, how do you eat pork? Like, that is mad. While chewing on jelly babies, like, it don't make sense. Like, make it make sense. You don't even know what pork is. So, I just don't know. I just feel like you should rethink that decision. Like, is eating pork your decision? Or eating pork just from family? Like, um, just the way your family raised you. Do you know what I mean? There's also a scripture in the Bible. It's not what goes into your mouth, but what comes out. Do you understand? So, like, you may not eat pork, cool, but you're bitter, you're hateful, you cuss everyone. Do you know what I mean? You use mad language and then kiss your mother with that same mouth. Do you understand? I'm telling you, pork is the least of your worries. Pork is the least of your worries. I can just tell you that now. What's in your heart is so much more important than the food you eat. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Also, I don't believe there's anything wrong with drinking alcohol. I see that the Bible mentions, uh, this is one point by the way, the pork and alcohol is one point. Um, I believe that the Bible says, do not be drunk, do not be a drunkard. You know, God hates drunkenness, but drinking a glass of wine doesn't make you drunk. So, unless you're like, um, tolerance. <laughs> You know, unless you're like really lightweight, but other than that, it don't say anything wrong. I don't see anything wrong with um, drinking alcohol. I haven't seen it. But also, on the other hand, if you feel like you've been convicted from God to not eat pork and not drink alcohol, then by all means, I'm not telling you what you should and should not do. I'm just telling you what I believe. On to the next point. Um, <clears throat> no offense to Chinese people out there but I hate Chinese food. Um, well, I don't know if you count curry sauce and chips, but um, yeah, I just don't get the, I don't get the craze over Chinese food. Everyone around me more or less loves Chinese food, but I just don't get it. Like it's nasty and it's sloppy and I just don't see the point. I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's not that deep. But I did hear that the Chinese food in England isn't actually like the Chinese food in China. So I guess I'm not actually, if that's true, I guess I'm not actually saying there's anything wrong with Chinese food because I actually haven't tasted proper, proper Chinese food, even though there's Chinese people in the kitchen. But it's just something that I heard. I don't know how true that is. But yeah, I just don't like Chinese food, okay? It's just not my thing. Mm. Speaking of food, since we're on that topic, I also, I'm not a fan of seafood, like crabs and lobsters and shrimps. Oh, no. <laughs> no, and, and the thing with me is I, I kind of eat with my eyes as well. Like if it don't look good, I'm not trying to touch it. Like it took me till I was about in my twenties to start eating stuffing because it looked disgusting, it looked so horrible, like stuffing does not look nice, you know like the stuffing you took up, you put up turkey's butt, like you have it at Christmas or whatever, it just doesn't look nice, stuffing looks disgusting, it took me a long time to put that thing in my mouth, but in the end it tastes good, so, but yeah, I'm not a seafood person either, just saying. Uh, I don't like the saying hun, as in like H-U-N. You all right, hon? You okay, hon? And I know I mess around and I'm like, come on, like, honey, like, don't, oh, honey, honey this, honey that, you know, in the London accent. But I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But generally, people will call you hun. And I'm just like, don't do that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. I just don't like the word hon. Um, don't get me wrong. If someone calls me hun, whatever. But I just, I'm not a fan, is all I'm saying. Um, this is a bit of a weird one. Sorry if you've not watched Twilight before. <clears throat> but everyone goes on about how Kristen Stewart is, like, terrible in Twilight. I don't see that. And this is coming from someone who's also read the books. I don't see that. As far as I'm aware, Bella, I don't remember her last, what her last name, Bella Sw is it Bella Swan? I think it's Bella Swan. <laughs> um, or Isabella. As far as I'm aware, she is supposed to be plain, as plain Jane, as plain can be, you know, unnoticeable, awkward, 
um, not confident. Um, I don't know, just like the most plainest, awkward, um, clumsy. That's the word I'm trying to find. Clumsy, like she, I don't know. I thought she was the absolute perfect actor for that role. I just don't think they could have found anyone better. I think she was perfect. You know what I mean? I did mention in a previous video, Edward could have been, you know, someone else, but, well, I'll just say it. I thought Edward, you know, I just don't feel like Robert Pattinson was the greatest for that role. It has nothing to do with acting, though. It was nothing to do with acting. I did feel like, after watching Vampire Diaries, Paul Wesley should have taken that spot, but we're not talking about him. We're talking about Bella, Isabella, Kristen Stewart. I just thought she was perfect. I know people generally think she's a bad actor. I I think she has something about her. Do you understand? I feel like she has this sort of awkward essence um, about her, but I kind of like it. I feel like that's what makes her her. And you know what, if I'm honest, I don't know her in real life, obviously, but it's probably, that's probably something that's true to her personality. Do you know, like in real life, she's probably just introverted and it kind of comes out in her character. Anyways, I don't know. As far as I'm aware, she's still acting, isn't it? She's still doing her thing, so... But I feel like she was perfect for Twilight. I just don't see it. And I also feel like, just while we're talking about Twilight, a lot of people like to say, oh, all the actors were not good, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you can't blame the actor. Sometimes it's the way they've directed the film or the way they've filmed it. I'm just, just putting that out there. Do you know what I mean? Just saying. And this is gonna break a lot of people's hearts around the world. <laughs> I don't think The Office, I've never seen the UK version, but I don't think The Office is funny at all, in any shape, in any form. I can't stand it, like, no. I just, I just think it's stupid. Like, I feel like when I'm watching it, I'm losing brain cells. Like, that's how I feel. I just don't get the comedy behind it. And there's that other one as well. Is it called Modern Family or something? I feel like it's kind of the same, you know, comedic and then they have like the confessionals, but it's weird. I don't know. I just, I can't grasp. I can't grasp the type of show that it is. To be fair, when it comes to comedy, I am very funny with that because even today, the only type of comedy shows I watch are from back in the day. You know what I mean? Like Fresh Prince, Friends, Moesha. It's not, I don't really watch new shows that um, are funny. <laughs> I'm more adventure, sci-fi, horror kind of thing. Um, I don't really do comedy anyways, but yeah, I just don't find The Office funny. Don't get that hype at all. I think beer and lager are the most disgusting alcoholic drinks known to man. <laughs> That was a very strong statement. I just don't understand. Beer and lager. It's so gross. It's just so gross. Like the fact that people drink that. The fact that people, like, you know, because of obviously this whole lockdown thing, people have just been trying to get back out there to a, you know, pub, beer garden, just to have the same nasty, disgusting beers that they'd be drinking, you know what, all throughout lockdown, all taste the same anyway. Um, okay, I should say that because um, I've never tasted them all, but I, uh, I think the most likely all pretty much horrible and bitter, like, no, I just don't understand it. No, I don't get it, I don't get it. <laughs> I feel really bad when I say this, but I don't really find pugs cute. Like I find, like I've seen a pug in real life, and I've seen like a really baby one. Now the size of it, adorable, right? Cute, but its actual face, no, I don't think pugs are cute like that, or like anything actually. I just don't think they're cute, like. Mm -mm. I, I just, no, I just don't see it. When they're babies and they're small, I guess anything small is cute. Cause look at micro pigs, they're cute. Not their faces, but the size is cute. So pugs are like micro pigs. Well, they're not, but in regards to the fact that when they're small, they're cute. 
but their faces will never be cute. No, not to me. Also, because we're talking about animals, cats. I really don't like cats. I don't hate them. Like, some cats are nice. Well, a few um, are nice, but yeah, I'm not a cat person. You'll never see me with a cat. You know, like that's just not a thing. When I say see me, I mean like getting a cat of my own. No, that will never be a thing. Cats just have way too many different personalities and you know, I've got enough of my own to deal with. Thank you very much. This isn't actually a part of um, my list, but since we're talking about animals, birds, birds. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Birds. What is that? Like, what is that? Like, what is that? Oh my gosh. Especially pigeons. Like, what? No, man. Mm -mm. We just don't. We just don't. We just don't play around with these things there. And even worse, they're not, they don't even seem to be afraid of humans anymore. So they will come and fly into your head like nobody's business. Like they have no, what's the word? Chill. Like they have no chill. Oh my gosh. I was watching one of Dave Young's videos, um, I don't know, about a week ago or something. And his wife was filming. And all of a sudden this bird flew by. In fact, I almost dropped my phone. I was like, what? Like, oh, heart attack. <laughs> heart attack. I'm telling you, no, no, that, mm -mm. no, I can't do it with birds. See, I'm getting scratchy. I can't do this. Let's, let's move on, please. <clears throat> Drake lovers. <laughs> he is overrated. You are overrating this guy. I just don't get it. Honestly, I don't get it. Some songs are okay, whatever, but I don't get the hype over Drake. Like, don't care for him. But then again, I really don't care for any music artist. Like, I don't have a favourite music artist. If I have favourite celebrities, they're always actors. They're not musicians, but... Yeah, Drake. Don't get the hype. Don't get the fuss. Don't care about Drake. Never will care about Drake. Do you understand? No. Not a fan. At all. Not at all. He has some cool songs, but I just don't know why everyone, like, is so gassed over him. I, I don't know. Tell me, put, put in the comments below why you're obsessed with Drake, if you are one of them. I feel like as I've grown as an adult, I can no longer like stand to watch musicals. Like I don't understand because I fully used to love like high school musical. To be fair, I still actually don't mind old musicals like high school musical and what else, Annie and Oliver. Um, is that it? I'm sure there were other musicals I used to watch. Because, you know, I used to watch a lot of Disney Channel and, you know, Camp Rock. You know, all them, like, uh, Disney Channel shows. And they were all mu musicals and I was fine. But as I've grown up as an adult, I just can't do it. Like, they annoy me. Every time I just get into the story, boom, there's another song. And I'm like, are you joking? I just, as an adult, I just can't deal with musicals. Not, definitely not today anyways. I could, you know, I could stomach High School Musical, but I can't stomach anything new. Like, any new musicals, they're just so annoying. Every time they start singing, I'm annoyed. Like, I'm so annoyed, so, mm -mm. And last, but not least, I believe atheism is its own religion. I just do, I just do. To me, I just don't get what you have to talk about. Like, what are you talking about? Because you believe God isn't real, fine. That's it. Yet these people have pages, they have blogs, like there's a whole community. Do you understand? They must be talking about something. Do you understand? I don't get it. But their belief is not believing in God. That's the whole point, that's their whole religion. It's interesting actually. It's very interesting. I feel like they worship not worshipping God. Well, it's not even like not worshipping because they say they don't believe. So the religion is, 
is a community of people that believe the same thing, right? And so their religion is that they all don't believe in God. I think if they didn't talk about it so much and, you know, they didn't have t-shirts and everything and like pages on social media and that, I probably won't think that way. But because they like, I don't know, because they kind of like make so much fuss about it, not all atheists obviously, but because they make such a big thing out of it, to me, it comes across as a whole religion. Like they're so dedicated to be like, I don't believe in God. It's a lot, do you know what I mean? So yeah, that's what I believe guys. <laughs> We've come to the end of the video. How is it 22 minutes? How? I just don't understand, but it's cool. There's a lot of things I don't understand, clearly. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching my video today. Make sure to put in the comments section um, if you agree or disagree with any of my unpopular opinions, they're unpopular, so um, I won't be happy if you agree with them because they're literally supposed to be unpopular, but it's cool. Let me know and also you can put down below um, some of your unpopular opinions and we will see if I agree with you. Thank you for watching today and I will see you on tomorrow's video. Bye.